And welcome everybody to a new, well, if you want to call it a gaming video, go right ahead, but, uh, this is a, another type of, uh, natural disaster gaming type video, well, again, if I want to call it gaming to begin with. This is Forces of Nature presented by NationalGeographic.org. Now, this is an old, old site, and, um, well, well, I'm not even sure what to say, actually, but, uh, we have four different things we can, uh, experiment with. Tornadoes, volcanoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes. Today, we are starting with the tornadoes. So here you learn about how you can create a tornado. To start with, create a tornado. Conditions have to be just right for a tornado to form. Tweak the atmospheric conditions below until the weather is just is perfect for the for a twister, and then take cover and see what you've created. So, how does one do that? Well, I think we're about to find out. Let's see what happens when I set the pressure as falling winds variable. Air mass 1 is cold and moist. Air mass 2 is warm and dry. The cold air mass must be moisture free. Ah, well, what happens when I reverse it? Ooh, I get an, it's using the old Fujisco, I get an F2, 113 miles an hour. Ooh, boy. Holy snotticles. Uh, yeah, that, that, that will definitely do it. Well then. Try again. What if I do warm and moist, but do pressure is falling? Steady winds. Reverse. This is our experiment there. F3, 201 miles an hour, which, had there been only enhanced, that would probably have been about 5. Wow, look at that mess. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, severe damage. Removed from well constructed houses, overturned trains. I think I've only seen one example of an overturned train via a tornado. It was on the Weather Channel at one point, I think. Okay, let's keep it up. What? Oh. Oh, now I'm getting a 4. 224 miles an hour. Again, a five on the enhanced. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that just got shredded. Dude. Devastating damage? Uh, no crap. Twenty little and tired homes. Blue structures with weak foundations into the distance. Toss cars. Flying missiles. No kidding. Oh, five. Three hundred twelve miles an hour. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Gone. Uh, yeah. 
Severe damage, no kidding. So I had to live in a strong frame house and off the foundations can considerable distance for they disintegrated. I wonder if that has anything to do with that house on the nineteen ninety six movie Twister, because that I could lift it off its foundation or tell about it. Although disintegration mm, not so much. This, the Twister also sent automobile, automobile sized missiles flying through the air, tore bark off trees, and badly damaged steel reinforced concrete structures. I.e., towers, probably. Hmm. F1, we got the lower end now. 82 miles an hour. Yellow weakling here. It's funny, like, I went through Hurricane Irma last year. Probably had winds about that strong where I live. And it tore shingles off my house. So, like, if a tornado of that intensity came through, I mean, well, I don't know if I'd sleep through something like that. I'm not sure how I would, but, you know, at least it'd be something similar. It'd probably be over quicker than Hurricane Irma was. Now, next up, back to a 4, 255. Try to get F Zero included in this video as well. Yep, we've seen that before. The next thing to happen is another five two seventy one. Yeah, that's overkill. There's no doubt about that. Another four, 250 miles an hour. Yeah, these tornadoes are minuscule compared to the five. I, I, I couldn't help but notice the pine tree back there. Five again, 311. Second strongest I've had so far. Oh, you are insane! Try to get a, a zero up in this. I know I can. A two again, 125. Okay, next up. Four again. Come on, give me zero. Down you go. Timber. Like it matters. Three again, one ninety six. Believe it or not, I may or may not have been have lived in an area about ten or so years ago that had a Particularly close call with a tornado, I believe that was a three. So yeah, just uh, throwing that out there.
Okay, level zero now. <laughs> now that's a tornado I could probably sleep through and not even know it came through. Unless I felt a pressure difference, maybe. I think we could do one more tornado. F4, 257 miles an hour. Well, all in all, that was the tornado aspect of National Geographic's Forces of Nature. I hope you folks enjoyed this little presentation. I don't know if I want to call it a little gameplay, because this was kind of more of a uh, presentation of this little game you could play. I'll be linking this in the description below, so maybe you could try it out for yourself. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.